Hello guys, welcome to JLT Point. So today in this video, I'm going to give an intro on how to record a quality vocal using your laptop integrated microphone. So if you don't have a, a good quality um, microphone and you wanted to sing as a cover song or want to sing a, a label, uh, you can have an option singing your cover by using your laptop integrated microphone so the thing that you needed is a laptop with an integrated microphone a minimum of a dual core with 2 gb and 512 mb graphics and the software that i'm using to record the uh, vocal is ripper so this is the software that I'm using and the version is 5.2.1 and a 64-bit software so you can download the, the software from the description below and uh, the software that I'm using to edit the FX and to mix down all into one file I'm using a software called Adobe Audition CC 2015 so the, this link was also given in the description below, so check it out. So before I get started, I'd like to give you some few tips that I could help you uh, in recording a quality hit, a quality vocal. So what are the things are? First, you have to record in a quiet room. So this is very important, you know, uh, if you're recording a cover or an, your own label, uh, find a quiet place uh, that's no any any external I mean try you can get in a perfect uh, quiet room maybe uh, a room which give which allows a little noise in so find a place and make sure you close all your windows and your door so that the amount of volume from the uh, your environment will be less into the room and then uh, adjust your laptop mic volume and sing near to the mic so what the thing is uh, you have to adjust your uh, your laptop and different microphone volume so that you can adjust by going to speakers and uh, right click over here and click on recording devices and then in this pop-up you will see the uh, list of recording units devices uh, if you you have to use a headset or a headphone uh, to uh, to avoid uh, you know uh, to avoid the uh, sound produced from your laptop uh, just record it back into your laptop mic. So use a headphone or a headset and make sure you're not recording your vocal using your headphone mic because but you can you can even use your headphone mic but make sure that if your headphone mic quality is better than your laptop integrated mic quality then use your headset if your headset mic quality is not up to the mark and you feel the laptop mic uh, quality is better than it then you can uh, disable this uh, headset mic and uh, you can use your uh, integrated microphone I mean it will be named as microphone or maybe some other name in your devices how you want to change the adjust the volume is go to the properties and then uh, go to microphone uh, <coughs> there you'll, you'll have two check box maybe uh, some other people may have uh, some other options depending upon the software uh, depending upon the and uh, I mean the sound driver that you have installed so before I forgot to mention that you have to need to uh update your drivers so right click on start menu and go to device manager and there you have to update your drivers so here's my audio input and output drivers so you need to uh, update it in single by manual so make sure you can have an active internet connection and then right click and uh, click on update drivers and uh, click on search automatically 
and it will look for your drivers in the in your in, in, through internet and in your local pc and it will find the best uh, updated version and it will install automatically so do we on every driver okay so I have did it um, and then what I have to so how you want to adjust your wall micro uh, your laptop microphone volume is uh, go to the I mean uh, go to the properties go to levels and there you can see your microphone and as I'm recording for this tutorial video I just raised up to 91 uh, I mean 91 percentage when I'm when I'm singing any song um, I'm just singing any cover what I will do is, uh, depending upon the song I choose, I will adjust the uh, level of the volume. Uh, because I'll be singing, uh, because I ha you have to sing near to your uh, laptop microphone. So you have to move forward. And uh, so now you can see here that I'm just uh, in the gap of four fingers. I'm, I'm just near the laptop microphone. So you can see that the loud, the noise is pretty loud. So when you when you sing in this sound, uh, it's not going to be a good choice. And even the external noise also just comes in. Okay. So for better quality, you have, what you have to do is you have to reduce your uh, mic volume. So I'll just uh, reduce some part. Actually, I will I'll show I will show this uh, in deep in uh, in the future video. So uh, now you can see that the different okay, uh, but I will show in deep in uh, the future video next video. So I'm not going to do anything else. Um, okay, and then as I told you, you have to sit, sing near to your mic, and then uh, you have to retake okay. Uh, I told you that I'm the software that I'm using to record my vocal is uh, Ripper. So what I'm doing is I'll uh, just create a new uh, track and I'll just extend this thing so you can see here you'll get this uh, input effects window okay mm. if you want to record a stereo uh, input then make sure you go to input and click on stereo so that uh, you will rec your record will be stereo that is that means left and right will be recorded in the same track and then if you want to record this portion track then click on the uh, record armed and that means I now read your record when you hit record button so uh, you can see now I'm just near my microphone and I'm uh, hitting the record, uh, record button uh, now we can see that my voice is raised so high in the uh, track band so I'm just stopping it you can see that I'm playing back uh, now we can see that my voice is raised so high in the yeah you can see that uh, actually uh, the voice is so loud and there are a lot of I mean the clarity was not good at all okay it I here I can see the flat okay I can hear the flat voice for the recording, the recording. So what I have to do is I'll do this. Uh, as I told you before, go to the recording settings and adjust your volume that refers to you. So now So now I can see that uh, you can see the bit different. I'm I'm in the same position where I recorded before. Uh, that means I'm in the four finger gap between my laptop microphone. So you can see this. So now I can see that uh, you can see the bit different. I'm I'm in the same position where I recorded before. Uh, that means. Uh, as you see the difference what we did before 
okay i'll show you the different i'm creating another part, another new track and i'll record this part now and so now i can see that yeah uh, you can see, see this different a big different uh, you can see here position where i recorded before so uh, you can see the, the you can see the range okay so you take only play this list there will be so less now i can noise. see that uh, there will be less noise and and the external noise also will be reduced a lot so now i can see that uh, and but still the voice will be flat because it's still a laptop uh, integrated microphone which is not which cannot be equal to a uh, equal to a, a good quality microphone and this if you look at this it will be loud and you can hear some of the external noises too yeah you can see this a big different you can see here okay so you can you cannot you can also uh, adjust the volume from here if you move uh, okay here you can see an arrow and you can pull down the uh, uh, thing or you can even change the uh, volume from the here or you can master from the whole master play. but i advise you not to use the master you can use the track volume settings you can lower into your wish. This part from here to here, you can just click uh, click this to get released. Uh, you can really keep any click yes. It is easy. You can see that it's easy to easy to split. Yes, and you can even fade like uh, you go to the uh, this corner, any corner, this corner, this corner, and you will see a. Uh, arc and you, you can pull it down so it will just fade, fade out fade. you can see this you can also see you can see this yeah you can see this you can see this to front even you can merge this okay yeah you can see this yeah actually this is all the things that i'm giving for an example that you have to learn it from your own and uh you want Good song. Uh, just, 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 okay. So now the next thing is uh, read it until you get satisfied with your parts. Uh, so I'll open my old branch to work that I did before. Okay, I'm sorry that uh, two files have been the same. I mean, uh, this will pro probably be the most common the current part. Yeah, the current part is missing. That no problem. I'll show you. So this is a uh, this is my uh, old project. I mean, this is my last project I did before. Uh, so this is before Dan Malik's cover. I mean, uh, Dan Malik's before I just covered this song. You can see that I have a lot of. I have created a lot of uh, uh, tracks. You can see here. See uh, because because. Uh, I'll I'll, just play, I'll show you playing this. So this is the main way I've just named something so that I can uh, identify. It. I done this before. Now like this. So you can see that I got created. I'll, I'll zoom in. Now you see here there will be a lot of uh, tracks. You know, uh, uh, well I'll, I'll show I'll, I'll show play this part itself. Like it sounds crazy, right? But you know, uh, to get a good, a good sound, you know, to get a good cover, you have to do these things, you know, in background so that and then, uh, to overall you get the perfect thing. So, not like this <laughs> you know i just uh, you know you have the, all the the other thing you have to focus on recording a good sound i mean good uh, i mean good output you have to change your voice mo modulation you know you have to record uh you, you have to record voice and multiple modulation and that that will not like this you can see that right uh you know 
because I'll, this is the base part so that I just uh, reduce the volume a bit lower so that it, it won't affect the it won't be clear and it won't affect the sound that so if you see in four now like this see it's a pretty good right uh, I, I don't that you can be bothered to fight it no more no and other things that I have to say is uh, the pan you have to be focused with the pan <coughs> and I see the pan okay I'll show you okay the pan okay. uh, the half pan so if you see here I have just recorded this thing uh, to slightly to the left pan okay uh, how this can be done is uh, here Here in the as I told you if you want a studio you just go to studio that will record the same uh, track that means the left and right. If you want a single a motor track that is left or right, uh, then you have to, uh, choose this one. So in this case I have just recorded this that uh, this main half main left uh, in a left side that and uh, just move the pan fifty percent to the left. So that what happened is this part, this whole part, I'll show you this part will be uh, fifty percent. It will be heard in the left speaker, and the, and the rest will be in the right speaker. And you can be bothered to fight it now. So that you uh, know, because why you are doing this, it will give a good effect. You know, if you if you listen. And you can be bothered to fight it now. Oh, that you can be bothered to fight it no more, no. You can see the difference, right? So, these are the things I'm doing, doing here to make a song go perfect, okay? So, all this recording I have did without any effects, okay? It's all, all recording that I uh, just brought, I mean, it's all the raw inputs that I directly recorded from my microphone by adjusting my uh the laptop mic wallet uh as I showed you in the step uh, two yeah and then I told you so I have to take multiple tracks and I have to take multiple retakes. You know what you know what uh I have a lot of retakes to uh give an uh, at least it's at least a good song you know uh, just uh, just keep on retaking um, each part you know I'll, I'll sing i'll sing the song by part by part you know first i'll sing this part and i done this before <laughs> now like this so i'll just sing this part uh, in a song i'll in a, actually in a song i'll split the song to part and i'll sing first a part and then next part and will be going on uh, so if first part is, uh, is okay then okay i will go on to the next part so because this will this will help you to you want a good sound a good i song. don't drink to get drunk i feel all the right funk so this is all the raw data i just shown you you have to render each track in a separate uh wave format uh, with the sample rate of uh four four one zero zero okay so i'll show you that um you know what you have to do is uh you have to rent each track uh, each track okay so what you have to do is uh, the thing actually i didn't figure out how to uh, try i mean how to render a track in in a very way so but i'm using a hard way though which is make sure you save your uh, project and then uh select everything okay and hold control plus um uh, if you if you want this track unselected uh, hold control plus uh, uh, click the button so this track is unselected now uh, hit the delete button it will ask you uh, to delete it or are you sure you want to delete the track are you from and i said yes so you can now we can see that i have only one track left 
and this track uh, so I'll go to render and uh, I'll browse and put a uh, put a back where it need to be rendered but I'm not going to render uh, okay I'll show you better okay uh, I'll put it guys in the call can you pull that just hit before and one and it will sample rate of 44100 and the output format wait and print it will start close the window and then make you should not you should not save this uh, a project because you'll you'll lose all your previous uh, I mean previous tracks okay you so what you do is click open and you click the same project that you uh, save the uh, project and click open. open. It will ask for you to save or not. Then you should click no because you, you know you should not save this project. So you can see here you, you have you got back the tracks and then uh, you have to uh, select the next thing. Click here, select all and control press and mouse click. Press so you can see this. And same thing, go to render, uh, choose my directory. You don't need to choose every time. Uh, in this time situation, I have been I don't mind just asking to every time. Okay, okay, you can see this uh, your waveform that they will be saved in the directory okay um, but not, i'm not going to do that all five for you because you will get figured it out so add a good quality uh, audio so adding an audio effect what i'm which software i'm using here is hello addition so the download you can download it from the given in the description below and so here's the software uh good file uh new uh, multi Multi track session, and you can you can name or anything else. Uh, name okay. Click OK, and here you can get the track. Okay, so you can simply drag and drop uh, the file. Here. Put it. So you I've done this before. Now like this. Okay. Good. No problem. So here two options you can uh, add effect to a clip. I mean clip if it is a clip. Okay, this is a clip. This is a clip. You can add this clip. It will be second. Okay. And um, about the track, the whole track. If you add a clip uh, in the track, uh, clip you add it here. It will go. Uh, it, that effect will be added to all the clips in the track. So uh, now I'm going to uh, this main track and uh, show the main track everything. So uh, I'm going to use the track effect to add the and I'll increase the volume.
So if you click on the comment star, go check over here. So the thing I'm doing is I will show you uh, the like I've done this before. Not like this. See, you can see the difference, right? If you don't, I don't drink to get drunk. I feel uh, all the right wrong. If that's something I want, I'll take I'll all the right wrong now. I'm going to stay there. Now multiple and I need to get back. But I'm to fight it no more, no. Okay, I'll just add the logo and paint and the second uh okay yeah modulation here go and then modulation of core and need delay I don't dream to get drunk, I feel all the right wrong. If that's something I'm born, I'm born, I'm born, I'm born, I'm all the right wrong now. I'm going to stay going as I'm going to go. I'm trying to be that bad boy. But I'm going to be bothered to fight it no more. No. So this is the parking, okay? I'm going to uh, give the whole uh, work I'm going to do here. So you have to manually check it out, all the effects are you or you need try the other youtubers video okay because i'm really you know, really nice to uh, just uh try all the something and uh we shall make something and then uh i'll show which version i feel good i'll show you so uh here you just uh the, actually add a bit to your ear right uh you need to rest it Okay, so go to export and multi track mix down. If you want to, uh, and, and if you want to mix down the entire track session, then click on the option and you can uh, the file name and you can go to the MP3 because waveform will usually have a few file, file size, but MP3 is the standard thing, all the applications uh, there's few. You can even name, name your project, name your file. And Check with three two double zero zero. Okay, that's not okay. It will start running. Okay, and usually the running file will be saved in the document. Okay, so we can see the other way to find this record. I've done this before, not like this. You saw that, right? Uh, uh, over the black voice to the added a big voice. There are a lot of different ranges. Okay. So it's all up to you guys now. It's all up to you that uh, I told you that uh, I brought this thing. So it's all up to you guys. So you have to edit. Uh, you can add. You can go through all your, all these editing settings and the beauty. You can add your beauty, beauty to the your purpose. And I'm going to show you uh, my complete project work. So this is my work cover. Actually, 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 the recording software that I'm using here. I just compressed the audio for the two file uh, compatibility. So you can check my official, I mean, the original song in my YouTube channel. I have you can just simply uh, Google JL cover song and you can find the link on YouTube playlist, and there you can find.
song sorry i have to go to youtube and com slash jump now and go to my playlist and you can check my song so just listen to the song i don't As I said it before, the quality of uh, a good professional microphone will not be equal to your laptop microphone. So it's all depend upon your hard work, how you uh, record the song, vocal song, uh, and uh, how you edit the song. So editing is the most important thing. It will make your vocal into a good quality. Uh, good quality sound I mean good quality output so uh, that's it guys uh, so I just uh, you all enjoy I, I don't think you will enjoy this video but maybe you have a, a small idea that how to uh, record the songs and a good quality I think so so you can check in my uh, YouTube channel my Facebook page or uh, even you can follow me in my Twitter so that you can have and you can ask me any queries or you can even uh, give them some any suggestions or and you can ask you even you people also have some ideas and that can also be shared in the comment section and so that people may other people may also uh, let, let go through it and it may help them also too and even if you have any other tutorial videos to work on work, uh, good sound quality uh, songs you can even put in the comment section I will I will surely put it in my description so that people will be get knowing to it and uh, I think that's it guys I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm not sure about that but uh, thanks for watching this uh, video and if you like this or if this helped in some way then please hit the like button and please please hit the subscribe button to uh, get notified in my future videos so that's it guys thanks for watching